the United States is facing an unprecedented opportunity for reinvention. And higher education is no exception. To meet the accelerating demand for college graduates, we must reinvent the ways we offer and pay for education beyond high school. American higher education must embrace the challenge to help as many people as possible receive high quality education using the resources available. If we meet this challenge, individuals, their families, their communities, and the nation as a whole will benefit. If we fail, we will all suffer the consequences. Inspired to build a stronger society and more resilient economy, smart, creative thinkers from across the United States are forming a network to meet the challenge of improving productivity in higher education. And four steps to finishing first is their agenda for doing it. By focusing on four key areas, performance funding, student incentives, new models, and business efficiencies, these leaders are making strides toward reinventing higher education. While states have traditionally paid colleges and universities for student enrollment rather than completion, states that adopt performance funding can offer colleges and universities budget incentives that align with the goal of graduating more students. In Florida and Pennsylvania, where performance funding has been in place for a decade or more, evidence is showing increases in degree completion. By changing tuition and financial aid policies, states also can create student incentives for on-time completion and help accelerate the rate of new graduates. In Texas, students completing their degrees with no more than three credit hours beyond what they need to graduate earn $1,000 rebates. The current costly system of higher education cannot be expanded to meet accelerating demands. Lower cost, high quality new models of academic delivery must be developed for higher education to dramatically increase its capacity to educate students. Many examples illustrate that redesigning large courses to make better use of technology and tenured faculty, building educational pathways that address the distraction of seemingly limitless course options, and accelerated degree programs can bring down costs without sacrificing quality to help graduate more students. Western Governors University helps shorten students' time to degree by allowing them to earn credit for existing knowledge and move on with their program when they've demonstrated that they're ready. By developing greater business efficiencies, colleges and universities can direct cost savings to support the goal of graduating more students. These efforts include such things as energy conservation, consolidating or outsourcing operations such as payroll and IT, and purchasing cooperatives for things like liability insurance and health care. Ohio's Collaborative Drug Benefit Program is expected to yield a savings of at least $300 million. Using four steps to finishing first as a framework to increase productivity, Leaders in government and higher education are seizing our nation's moment of opportunity. In productivity strategy labs, they are networking with peers who face similar challenges, benefiting from an emerging field of research and practical advice, and receiving technical assistance to adopt and implement elements of the four steps that best fit their state. To find out how you can seize these opportunities for the benefit of your state, visit collegeproductivity.org slash four steps.